right so let us see in this session about the parallel ac circuits and specifically we will be dealing with the single phase system so in which so let me consider the first category as rl parallel circuit rl parallel circuit that means resistance and inductance are connected in parallel let us see first once you see this kind of uh, circuit on title nature so better to draw the diagram so that you will get the better understanding in doing the problems we will have a resistor and we will have a inductor and these two are connected now in parallel as like this these two are connected in parallel and if the resistance is l uh, r and the inductance is l and if this entire thing is connected let us say across a certain voltage and whose voltage may be sinusoidal voltage let us say if the voltage is v of t then current generated by this source for this corresponding network let me say this entire thing is one network for this network this source is supplying a current of i amperes a current of i amperes that current let me write as i of t and try to observe once this current is entering into this box now it <coughs> now it find two paths one is through the resistor another is through the inductor and now this entire current going to be split into two parts one is current through the resistor which is ir of t and current through the inductor which is il of t so this is what everything in the time domain see like voltage is function of time current is function of time and all currents are also function of time but so we said that so dealing these ac circuits is very simple when we consider the phasor equivalent of each of these element and its corresponding component so how we uh, do that is as like this so now let me take again this diagram so sorry let me take this diagram copy of it and now just i will produce this in the frequency domain equivalent so what i will do is that everything i will try to replace with the phasor form as like this v bar so the current i'll say as i bar and this current i'll say as i r bar and this current i'll say as i l bar inductor current and in frequency domain the resistive impedance is simply r no change in this time domain to frequency domain whereas the inductor will be equivalent to the zl which is equal to j omega l there is no change in this impedance of the inductor in comparison with the series circuit in series circuit also inductive impedance is zl which is equal to j omega l and omega l can be called as inductive reactance which is xl so this is what the frequency domain equivalent circuit frequency domain equivalent circuit frequency domain equivalent circuit so preferably try to use this frequency domain equivalent circuit so by the given information you can convert everything into phasor form thereby you will get the frequency domain equivalent circuit now we will do every analysis in this frequency domain now try to observe that in this parallel circuit which are connected in parallel by these r and l what is common for these two elements is voltage see this voltage across the resistor is v voltage across inductor is also v so whichever is common for these two elements that parameter let us assume as a reference so let so v of t is equal to something like vm it can be either cos or sin it's your wish vm cos omega t if this is time domain function now its corresponding frequency domain in the phasor form is so vm by root 2 at an angle of 0 is the voltage 
and instead of writing every time vm by root 2 i will write this as simply capital v at an angle 0 so where capital v is equivalent to rms value of the voltage which is equal to vm by root 2 okay so now try to see this once we know the voltage across this entire combination now can i say current through the resistor and current through the inductor as like this so current through the resistor ir i can calculate ir bar is equal to so this is the resistive element how much is voltage across this person is v divided by its corresponding resistance which is equal to simply v bar divided by r which is equal to v bar is v at an angle 0 divided by r which is equal to v by r at an angle 0 and you can make so further simplification by assuming this v by r as some current i it's your wish so now let us leave v by r is the magnitude of the current through the resistor and angle of the current is zero as like the voltage see voltage angle and the current angle of the resistor both are same next is let us find the inductor current so as v bar divided by zl so which is equal to v at an angle 0 divided by jxl so which can also be written as v at an angle 0 divided by so jxl can be written as xl at an angle of 90 j is equivalent to 90 degrees remember that now this is equivalent to v by xl at an angle of 0 minus 90 which is minus 90 degrees this is what the inductor current now try to observe as like in series circuit so in series circuit we applied the kvl to get the total voltage across the series connected circuit now here we apply the kcl at this node to get the total current i so let us find that so from by kcl by kcl i is equal to ir plus il see everything is represented in phasor form i bar is equal to ir bar plus il bar like now let us simplify these things so v by r at an angle 0 next is v by xl at an angle minus 90 and this can be further written as v by just i am trying to expand these things into rectangle form that is v by r at an angle 0 is equivalent to v by r plus j0 so i no need to write that next is angle minus 90 is equivalent to minus j so i can write this as so directly so minus j into v by xl so these are in rectangle form just i converted each term into rectangle form now try to see here v is common voltage magnitude is common in this so which can be written as 1 by r minus j by xl 1 by r minus j by xl and here 1 by r which is reciprocal of the resistance can be called as a conductance which is represented by the letter G. Whereas the reciprocal of the reactance can be called as a susceptance which is represented by the letter B. As because it is the inductive reactance, so this we call as inductive susceptance which is G minus JBL where, let me write here these things, G is the conductance, conductance which is 1 by R reciprocal of the resistance and B is the susceptance but it is inductive corresponding thing so I am using suffix L so I will call this as inductive inductive susceptance susceptance which is reciprocal of the reactance that is 1 by XL so now try to observe so this entire term which is g minus jbl term 
we can call this as so v into this entire term i can call as y y where y is referred as admittance y is equal to g minus j bl g minus j bl which is referred as admittance admittance which is reciprocal of the resistance basically or impedance which is reciprocal of the impedance so now finally just i would like to express these things little uh, as what we had seen in the series circuit so as like this see here so finally this v into y y can be written as as like this previously we had written y can be written as magnitude of the y how much is the magnitude of y g square plus bl square is the magnitude how much is the angle angle is tan inverse tan of, inverse of minus uh, mi minus i am taking out so this is imaginary part bl divided by g this is what the thing and now so this y can be assumed one more step let let me write this y can be written as mod y at an angle of so let us say minus theta where mod y is magnitude of the admittance which is equal to square root of g square plus bl square and theta is the angle of the admittance which is equal to tan inverse of bl by g bl by g clear so this is now just let me substitute here uh, actually what i had written initially is current total current i this is what the total current i so let me take one more step the total current i is equal to v into y y can be written as mod y at an angle of minus theta now i'll do here one more thing that so v can be written as or you can directly write v can be written as so as v bar into y just y so v bar means v at an angle zero see here v means v at an angle zero so or, or you can leave as it is no issue so i is equal to v into mod y at an angle of minus theta this is what the total current magnitude and angle now you can just take up a simple phasor diagram just to let me take up all the terms once again one thing what we know is voltage total voltage then resistance branch current inductive branch current and a total current let me write these things all together to draw the phasor diagram so just let me take those things here just for the sake of phasor diagram these are the things what are already known now to draw the phasor diagram observe most of the times these things will be asked so first observe what is the zero corresponding angle that parameter you try to draw and initially we know the voltage so let me take the v bar is equal to v at an angle zero this i will draw initially so now that means so we will have some let us say uh, zero corresponding axis as like this whose degree is zero degree now on this line i will draw a length which is equal to v i represent that with arrow which represents phasor and this length is v angle made by this is zero as because it is lying on the zero degree c so magnitude is v angle is zero like this we should take care next is current current magnitude is v by r so v by r means definitely lesser than v so but whose angle is also zero that means this also should lie on the same line but it has lesser length the length is v by r whose angle is also zero this is what the current which current resistive current so if you want you can write i 
R magnitude is equal to V by R. Next is IL. IL magnitude is V by XL whose angle is minus 90 degrees. So I told you that negative angles are in clockwise. So to travel by 90 degrees here and put a length of V by XL and this represents so 90 degree position and a length of V by XL which represents inductive current. Now if you add up this IR and IL you will get the total current. How we add? By using parallelogram. Just simply take this inductive current branch onto the tip of current IR and draw the parallelogram draw the parallelogram or just directly join this corresponding starting point to the ending point which is IR plus IL this is what the IL magnitude which is equal to V by XL just see this V by XL this is V by XL this is V by R but one is at 0 and there is at minus 90 this is minus 90 means clockwise Okay, now sum of these two is what the total current as like this. This is what the I bar magnitude which is this one. V into Y. Angle made by this is theta but negative. So as because negative it is in clockwise from the zero. This is what the phasor diagram of a simple RL circuit. So from this uh, you can get many things as like what we seen previously. This admittance angle which is equal to G minus JBL which can be written as mod Y at an angle of minus theta. So this theta is what the admittance angle admittance angle. This can also be called as a power factor angle, PF angle. And how much is this? This is equal to tan inverse of imaginary part that is VL divided by VL part G. G, VL by G. And if you want power factor that we already seen. So how we get the power factor? Simply cos of this admittance angle or impedance angle, both are same. So theta. Cos theta is what the power factor. And you can also get this cos theta from this triangle. See this? What is cos theta? Adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. What is adjacent side here? Red color, which is IR. So can I write this as IR bar magnitude? divided by total current magnitude. If you want, you can make one more slight substitution also. How much is IR bar magnitude? V by R. How much is I magnitude? I magnitude is V into Y bar. V into Y mod. So, V into Y mod. That means, this I can say, 1 by R as G by Y. See 1 by R we had written somewhere. See here. So 1 by R is equal to G. So now this is G by Y which is equal to cos theta. So here one can write this as one more form as like this. So 1 by R is equal to G. So G into V whereas 1 by XL is equal to BL, so BL into V. And I is equal to, what is I? V into Y magnitude. So in this way, you can express either in terms of the impedance admittances or conductance etc. or currents or voltage and corresponding parameters. These power factors. Okay.